Hello scholars, this is Mr. Key. Um, and today's lesson is April 17th. And we're going to pick off where we left off yesterday. And we're going to go over the questions, okay? So the first question um, for your homework was, if Felix adds an even number to an even number, the sum will be an even number. B, it could be an odd or even number. C, will be an odd number. Or D, cannot be an odd or even number. All right? Now then, through a process of elimination, I can go ahead and cross out choice D. Now the reason for that is because um, no matter any number that you pick, it'll either be odd or even. Okay? So one is odd, two is even, three is odd, four is even, five is odd, six is even, and so on and so forth, okay? So with odds and evens, they'll go back, um, they'll, they'll take turns. So first it'll be an odd, then it'll be an even, then an odd, then an even, right? So that tells me that there is no number that is neither odd nor even, okay? Any number is either going to be odd or even. There's nothing else. So choice D, you can crush out choice D. Now then, at this point, I think we can figure out what the answer, what the answer is, okay? So we'll use two uh, different equations. We'll use 2 plus 2 and 10 plus 10, okay? We'll use 2 plus 2. 2 is an even number. 2 plus 2 is what? Right, it's 4. That's an even number as well. How about 10 plus 10? 10 plus 10 is 20. 0 is in the ones place. And zero is an even number. That makes 20 an even number. So what that tells me is that choice C will not work and choice B will not work. Now the reason why choice B will not work, even though even though it includes an even number, is because there is no chance that it could be an odd number. There is no chance that an odd, sorry, an even plus an even could be an odd number. Okay? It'll always be an even number. So choice A is the right answer. Okay? Let's go on to the second problem. So this one asks, which correctly compares two odd numbers? So remember what I said yesterday. We're looking for two uh, parts or two answers to get the right question, okay? So we're looking for two odd numbers first, and we're looking for a choice that co correctly compares. So for this one, it's very simple. We're looking for a number that in the ones place has an odd number. Now then for the correctly compares, we're looking for a choice that correctly uses greater than or less than, okay? So let's first take out choices that, that um, do not have an odd number. So choice A has 54 is greater than 52. Now while that is true, we're looking for odd numbers. So we can cross this one out. We have 49 and 61. That one checks out. We have 37, 39. Those are both odd numbers, okay? Then we have 48 and 46. 48 and 46, they are both even numbers. So A and D are null and void. Okay, now we're looking for correctly compares, okay? So at this point, we're just making sure that our answer choice uses greater than or less than correctly. So here's my question. Is 37 greater than 39? Or is 49 less than 61? Which one is the right answer? Which one sounds right just off the top of your head? 37 is greater than 39, or was 49 less than 61? Let's check. So is 37 greater than 39? Let me see. Let's, let's count from 35. We have 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So what that tells me is, is that 39 is bigger than 37. So choice C is not right. Even though it has two odd numbers, 37 is not greater than 39. So choice C is not right. Now then 49 less than 61 is obviously um, correct. So choice B is our answer, okay? Last question from yesterday. So which array represents an odd number? For this one, we are simply just counting each circle and we're just gonna figure out which one is correct, okay? So I'm just gonna start with choice F. We see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We see 18 in choice F. I'm going to cross out 18. Now that for choice G, I'm going to do it pretty much a short way. I see 
uh, one, two, three going down this way, and I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight going this way. I see three going down, I see eight going this way. Three times eight is 24. So that's an even number. So I'm going to cross out choice G. Our next choice is choice H. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 is an odd number. Let's just make sure that choice J is not an odd number as well, just, just to make sure. We see 2 going down this way, and we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 17 times 2 is 34. 34 is an even number because 4 is in the ones place. So choice J is not the right answer. Choice H had 15, and that is an odd number because 5 is an odd number, and it's in the ones place. So H is the right answer. Now then, our questions for today are as followed. Our first question is, in which equation is the value of the blank an odd number? So at this point, guys, what you can do is that you can use um, our rule that we're going over for this week, right? You can use the rule of what an even plus an even makes a what, an odd plus an odd makes a what. Now we're going to go over um, about an even minus an odd or an odd minus an even, and then also multiplication and division as well, okay? So let's start off... Um, Let's start off with multiplication, okay? Now, then, there really is no rule for multiplication or division, okay? For multiplication or division, it could be either or, right? 3 times 3 makes 9, but 3 times 2 makes 6. 9 is odd, but 6 is even. So, it, so for these questions, you're really just going to be showing your work. You're going to be showing your work whenever you're multiplying, you can write out uh, four threes, add them together. Is that an odd number or is it an even number? Same thing for eight take uh, divided by two, right? Eight divided by two. Basically what you're doing is you're taking away half of eight. What's half of eight? You minus that and the remainder, is that an odd or an even number? For this one is simply um, adding or subtracting and for this one, it's simply adding, okay? And for some of these, you can go ahead and use that rule of an odd plus an odd or an even plus an even. And for this question, I want you to write down your own definition of how you got the right answer and why the others did not um, equate to the right answer choice. Our next question is, the sum of which two numbers is odd? Just like before, you want to you want to use our rule. You want to use our rule, right? What is the rule of an even plus an even, an odd plus an odd, and an even plus an odd? So out of those three rules, which one would make an odd number? And if and if you want or what you should do is even still you should go ahead and and solve um, each answer choice to make sure that your rule that you wrote for yourself still applies it still makes sense it's still right okay next question which figure has a number of size that is an even number so for this question very simple you're going to count each side of the shapes okay and then cross out um, the choices with the shapes that are odd okay so that means one three five seven nine 11, 13, anything above that that has a that, that has a uh, an odd number in the ones place, right? Is odd. So you're crossing out all those answer choices that do not uh, match what we're looking for. We're looking for an even number that is represented by the size of the shapes. Okay. Last question. Kong will count by threes from three to twenty-seven. So we have three. 6, 9, 12, right? We see 3 plus 3 makes 6. 6, six plus 3 makes 9. 9 plus 3 makes 12. How many numbers that Kong counts will be odd numbers? Okay? 
so there's really um, two parts to this question okay there's two parts to this question the first thing you want to do is you want to make a pattern of threes or a multiple of threes from three going to 27 okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to finish this uh, pattern and you want to get to 27 when you, once you get there you stop okay so you start from three you'll finish it off starting at 12 continue from 12 to, to 27 once you get there you complete a step one step two is very simple what you're gonna do is you're gonna count of all the numbers from 3 to 27 how many are odd okay how many of the numbers from 3 to 27 are odd okay so I'll use this as an example we have 3 to 12 right 3 to 12 we see 3 6 9 12 so my question to you right now is how many numbers that Kong has counted from 3 to 12 are odd how many of these numbers from 3 to 12 are odd if you got two you are correct because three is an even number sorry three is an odd number I'm sorry three is an odd number six is even nine is odd and 12 is even because the two is in the ones place and two is an even number so we see two evens two odds so at this point what you be doing is like I said before continue from 12 go to 27 and then from there you're gonna count all the odd numbers okay it's kind of tedious it can be kind of long but this also works on your multiplication as well as just your patterns of three okay and then we'll pick back up um, next week okay and I'll see you guys soon